positivity training for a politically correct world. It is Friday morning. Yeah. I like that. I would uh, ask everybody in this room what they're doing for the weekend, but uh, we already know. It's going down. We are here for real? on site. iHeartRadio Music Festival tonight and tomorrow night. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Paramore, Gwen Stefani, Hosier, Halsey, The Black Crows, Chris Martin from Coldplay, The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky, Doja Cat, Camila Cabello. Uh, you got uh, Big Sean, Keith Urban, Thomas Rhett, New Kids on the Block, Shabuzi, Victoria Monet. I mean, it's a big so lot of pop awesome. Everybody. It's a uh, rock, pop, hip hop, country. Uh, everybody together on one stage over two nights, and you can watch it on Hulu. You can stream it on Hulu. And uh, we're here, like we're, we're always very busy for this uh, iHeartRadio Music Festival. But coming up now, Vegas is a place you can get in a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. But coming up, some tales from jail. Oh damn! Where uh, Seabass, we've uh, we've done this segment before, where he was talking to a bunch of different people about their time in jail and different things that happened. That would be a good show. A good reality show would be like the Las Vegas PD drunk tank. Yeah. Huh, thought, oh God, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, because I'm sure they would be down for it. Yeah. Why not? Because you know they're not because you, you, you so many people come for a weekend and catch a charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there is that one well, series simply called Jill. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think they do Vegas. Well, they that's do. basically when you know um, Virgin Hotel, that's right by the Las Vegas airport. That used to be the Hard Rock Hotel. Right. And they used to have a reality show around the pool parties there. Yes. And that was basically what you're talking yeah, about. It was, yeah. It, they, they, it, it was, was basically uh, from the point of view of the security guards, and it was just people getting day drunk, tossed out, fights. Hmm. Anybody here have been arrested? Oh, yeah, you got arrested. I've been arrested. Yeah. 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 She mouthed yeah. off to uh, some, some cro- yeah. not, not crossing guards, to some immigration. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it was crossing the border. I got put in the drunk tank, but I, yeah. I didn't, like, go to jail or anything. But did they read no. you your rights? Uh, you have the right listen, to remain silent? I to was remember. blacked out uh, when I got arrested, remember. and I came to, like, sitting there in handcuffs, and I was like, this uh, isn't good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, but I, I, my friends could probably uh, tell you. I don't think so. They were just like, all right, you're coming with us. Uh, I've Yeah, I've been arrested. They read me my rights. Yeah, but what was that for? Uh, I got in a fight. And then, nice. yeah, and then the pussy called the cops on me. Uh, <laughs> well, his, da- his dad was a cop, too. Oh. But... Luckily, my friends videotaped it, and it was self-defense, so I didn't okay. get in trouble. Damn. Gina, you ever been arrested? Never. Me neither. No, I haven't. Yeah, I've only gotten oh, two. I wouldn't no survive guess. it. Well, I would and have I'm, a heart attack. I'm obsessed with jail shows. I'm obsessed with Lock Up, Scared Straight, all of it. Yeah. And I think if I ever got arrested, I'd never watch that again. Mm. I'd be like, because oh, to me, it's mm. still kind of, it, it's so separate. I'm, It's entertainment. Right. But it wouldn't be if I knew what it was like. I, I wouldn't last. Yeah, when second. I went to one of those boarding schools, the one that I was at in uh, in Alabama, they took us to an Alabama state prison. They tried to scare you straight. Yeah, I mean, it was just like, uh, yeah, I think I think it was a scared straight thing. Either that, or it was just a regular field trip. I don't know. Did he go to field, <laughs> field trips? Trip to no, prison? To prison? No, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, not. so we went there, and they had chain gangs at uh, oh, at this wow. prison. Again, Fun. this is Alabama. This is like, what uh, century yeah. Was this? yeah. I mean, we drove for like two hours to get to this prison, and we left from right around the Huntsville area. I don't even know where the hell we ended up going. But anyway. Um, yeah, they the, the guys were like you know yelling at you and stuff like that, but they're showing you like all these things that they had confiscated, all the shivs and oh, stuff, sure, and the shanks, shanks, yeah. and you know all these different like uh, what what prison is really like, and you yeah. you go in there and you see the 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 cells and I mean I would like to do that, yeah, but uh, I mean it was cool fun. because here's the thing I'd never been arrested, you know, uh, right. I got in trouble as a kid, but like nothing that got me arrested. Right. I mean, he should have been arrested. Yeah, we you, know, we you, know this. You well, say that, all, but I mean, you know, I don't know. There's Arson. something in between because Woody said he was an angel. And, I didn't say I was an angel. And then Seabass says he, yeah. Woody was a monster. Was a, yeah, so like there a, has to be some felon. middle no. part. We we did. Kid you don't just stuff. get you don't just get sent there to these boarding school slash prison yeah, camps. Yeah, there had to be something more. But, than but that. I was like, I, was, I never did drugs. I, I didn't even have my first beer until I was like 20 years old, dude. Yeah, but drugs and alcohol don't have to be involved. No, yeah. I'm saying, but I, I I wasn't even doing, that's my point. I think Arson, a lot of people like, uh, scams. Well, we, yeah, you were more of a scammer. 
No, it yeah. wasn't a scammer because right. we we were just like playing around in the woods and we didn't know what the hell we were doing. All of a sudden, the woods caught fire. Now we, we were playing around with the March of Dimes, and all of a sudden we had money. Right. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. we were knocking yeah. on doors collecting money. Well, yeah. For- yeah. that happened once. <laughs> yeah. That happened once, but it wasn't then, like it wasn't like we were running scams like that. We were like, just playing yeah. around breaking and entering. Yeah, again. and then yeah, and then you yeah. stole the answer key. To right, and sold yeah. the answer. Sold that, and then yeah. you the you also bars. said before but you never cheated at school. Like you never cheated at school. Um, they were like wrote answers on your hand. I think my grades hand. obviously show yeah. that I didn't. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. But, and this is just the stuff he's let slip. <laughs> yeah, slip. I've shared he everything. Said that he used to pop kids' air bubbles in their shoes, like from no, rocks well, girls. Yeah. yeah. No, well, see. You, it makes well, you I mean, sound Woody, like a yeah. degenerate. They're, they're, yeah, they're 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 taking there some stuff out of context. Quite a few dozen examples. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not like just one one off about the no. chocolate bars. Yeah, this, yeah, is, right. this is a, many, many examples. Yeah, no, I understand. But I mean, when you're a kid, you get into stuff, don't you? Yeah, but weren't you, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Weren't you sort of like a ringleader type of like, that's if somebody once I was needed in. something, you helped them out? Like that's, in terms of the test scores, like you, you were a go-to No, person? that's that's once I was at the boarding school and I was never directly doing any of the stuff. I was like kind of helping plan Ah, I was a planner. He was a second command. Yeah. 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 No. So like, okay, I'll he give you an logistics. example. You were running an operation. Well, no, we were. At, so I was at this boarding school and uh, <laughs> these kids were trying to figure out like, how do we get, we're, we're going on a, on a home visit. How do we get weed back on campus? Cause they oh, would always sure. search everybody and search all your stuff when he came back through. And so I came up with the idea because we we're in the, the middle of the woods. And so I'm like, all right, they put you in a cab yeah. from, it was the, it was in Oregon, the Redmond airport back to where the school was. And uh, I said, once you get on the road, you know, this turn right before the school, there's a mile marker right there. Oh. Have have a, make it a shampoo bottle. Yep. Put Take the, it to the bottom. Put this. Yeah. Put the stuff in there. But then when you get to that whole thing, just kind of throw it off like out of the window. And then so in the middle of the night, they would go and they'd retrieve it right at that mile marker and they'd find it. So like pretty smart. Yeah. I came up with that idea. That was my <laughs> idea. I don't hmm. I had never smoked weed, didn't touch weed, didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. You're just a problem okay. solver by nature. Yeah, it was just like you know, yeah. I was so, so mad he was about so being good there. at it. He, yeah. would, if he knew about plausible deniability. Yeah. Well, no, because I, I didn't want to be involved in it, but I, I was excited about the idea of helping plan it. I don't get my hands dirty. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. I was an angel. Yeah, I didn't, never said I was an angel. Never said I was an angel. But I mean, as kids, you never got into anything. No, of course I did. Yeah, of course. I mean, every, every, but I everybody did. I was an angel oh, yeah. like you always yeah. do. Yeah, like, yeah. like the the uh, the air bubble thing on the on the shoes, like on the Nike Airs and stuff. That was kind of like a, like a two for flinching kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it was it, we were all like it was a bunch of friends, and we were mm-hmm. all in on the game. And so the whole thing is don't get caught, right? So somebody would like sit there and talk to you and try to distract you while somebody else like snuck up behind. And took like a big pen and tsh, mm. right into your and ruined uh, your shoes. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's like an absolute bully a hole move. Yeah, that's so. Funny. It was like, our own friends. We like, weren't doing it to random kids. Like, oh yeah. Still, whenever you people retell these stories, the no, kid, it wasn't. The kid <laughs> got picked on. He was one of our friends. No, yeah. it wasn't random kids. It was like your group. It was our group. Hold on, gentlemen's agreement. Did yeah. you have a pair of those shoes? I did. Okay. Yeah, I had the Agassiz. Did they get popped? Uh, they did one time. One one of the shoes. I'm sure, your mom loved yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't tell not, her. Not a waste of money at all. <laughs> no, I, I didn't tell her. I still wore them. I still wore them. But uh, yeah, you guys. No, they're, see, they're not convinced. I think the only people here are acting like they were angels are you guys. No, no because never. I've I've certainly never pretended like oh you. I mean, we was, already know Sammy no. got yeah, busted I got at the Yeah, bar. but that was yeah that was uh, that was but drunk. No, but I'm saying like as a kid, you never. Yeah. No, you, no, you never because, like wrote answers on something. And tried no, to you no, know. no, because it's a different story because. You have the uh, story of being sent to boot camp, right? So we're trying to, you know, figure out yeah. why. And you always claim that well, oh, it just came out of nowhere. No, because yeah. the yeah, because the original school, the the kids that I was there with. If you watch these programs, or the kids that get sent there, these are kids who were like ordered by the court, right? They were like really hardcore drug mm-hmm. users and sellers. They were grand theft auto kids. These were people that were assaulting their parents. He's and, only a drug facilitator. Yeah, like whatever. So yeah, I mean, though, the, I, I was there. You do sound like you were a little out of place. I was there. out of place. Even the people who ran the school at this point admit that I was completely yeah. out of place. You know, but was I uh, an That's angel? Right. No, I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, but, I'm, like, I'm like you guys. You Drum guys Tank Las Vegas, mm-hmm. new show idea. Yeah, Co- that'd be great. Copyright yeah. trademark. Great. Come yeah. see yeah. Just stop saying you were an angel. Yeah, uh, yeah I got That's what I got to do. Thank you. Get it. Make that down. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And then Tales from Jail. Coming up next, we're going to meet Fleece Johnson. Nice. Next on The Woody Show. Hang on. 
The Woody Show. Back in a few. All 98.7. Ohana Festival.